If the sun is hot, how is outer space cold? Excellent question, Jacoby Brissett, current quarterback of the Indianapolis Colts. It turns out that outer space is full of extreme temperatures. The sun is a ball of gas and fire, measuring around 27 million degrees Fahrenheit at its core and 10,000 degrees at its surface. Meanwhile, the cosmic background temperature, that is, the average temperature of outer space, hovers at negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat from the sun travels through the cosmos as radiation, an infrared wave of energy those waves excite molecules they come into contact with, causing them to heat up. The catch is that radiation only heats molecules and matter that are directly in its path. Everything else stays chilly. That's why the nighttime temperatures on the planet Mercury can be 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit lower than the radiation exposed day side, according to NASA. Earth's atmosphere helps distribute that solar radiation through three methods, conduction, convection, and radiation. When the sun's radiation hits and warms up molecules in our atmosphere, they pass that extra energy on to the molecules around them. Those molecules then bump into and heat up their own neighbors. This heat transfer from molecule to molecule is called conduction, and it's a chain reaction that warms areas outside of the sun's path. Space, however, is a vacuum, meaning it's basically empty. Gas molecules in space are too few and far apart to regularly collide with one another. So even when the sun heats them up with infrared waves, transferring that heat via conduction isn't possible. Similarly, convection, a cycle where air gets less dense and rises as it heats up, and then sinks and gets more dense as it cools, is important for dispersing warmth across the Earth. But in the zero-g vacuum of space, it simply can't happen. The extreme temperature differentials of space present unique challenges to the missions conducted by space agencies around the world. In April 2019, NASA's Parker Solar Probe was 15 million miles away from the sun. That's closer than any other spacecraft in history. The probe's heat shield protected its internal parts from temperatures around 250 degrees Fahrenheit, while the backside was simultaneously experiencing temperatures of negative 238 degrees. Preparing for temperature shifts of hundreds of degrees might sound wild, but it's just how things are out in space. Plot twist, the real oddity is Earth. Amidst the extreme cold and fiery hot, our atmosphere keeps things surprisingly mild, at least for now.